Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Tech Tango. Today we are going to dive a level deeper into the world of real-time ray tracing and how its related technologies like NVIDIA DLSS have permanently changed the way we play and experience the games today. Modern-day GPUs are technology marvels and engines that are powering large industries from design, cloud, artificial intelligence to scientific computing. But gamers, ये एक अलग ही breed है. Gamers and their insatiable demand that is driving force behind the GPUs today. When talking about games and gaming graphics, rasterization इसे हमें कभी नहीं भूलना चाहिए is the oldest technology we can think of that is still being used to generate visuals and represent them on your screens now upon realizing the ultimate limits of rasterization approaching fast nvidia decided to focus its efforts on ray tracing technology as a means to enhance the visuals and bring it closer to reality 10 saal ke अथक परिश्रम और करोड़ों रुपए की आर एन डी के बाद रे ट्रेसिंग ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल बिकेम रियालिटी विथ ट्यूरिन जी पी यूज एंड रीच द लेवल विच वॉज अनहर्ड ऑफ बिफोर विथ एम्पियर जनरेशन ऑफ जी पी यूज बट वॉट इज रे ट्रेसिंग एंड इज इट समथिंग न्यू लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट रे ट्रेसिंग इज अ मेथड ऑफ ग्राफिक्स रेंडरिंग दैट सिम्युलेट्स द फिजिकल बिहेवियर ऑफ लाइट मतलब आप जो अभी देख रहे हो वो लाइट रिफ्लेक्ट होके आपके आंख में गिरता है और आपका ब्रेन उसे प्रोसेस करके हम उसको विजुअल्स या वीडियो के रूप में देख रहे हैं दैट इज व्हाट रास्टराइजेशन इज नॉट एबल टू डू एंड रे ट्रेसिंग कैन इजीली डू बाय ट्रेसिंग द पाथ ऑफ लाइट एंड नो रे ट्रेसिंग इज नॉट अ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी इट हैज बीन इन एक्सिस्टेंस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम स्पेशली वेन इट कम्स टू मूवीज एंड स्पेशल इफेक्ट्स इंडस्ट्री where characters and screens or aap bol sakte ho scenes are brought to life using ray tracing so wait isme kya difference hai aap puchoge so difference here is the word real time means aap jo screen pe dekh rahe ho wo real time aapke gpu pe render hoke aapke screen pe dikh raha hai compared to movies wagere jinko pehle render kiya jata hai mahino tak aur fir aapko wo dikhta hai That is a difference between real time and non-real time. Nvidia made real time ray tracing possible with Nvidia RTX, the first ever real time ray tracing GPUs. Now that we have cleared what ray tracing is, let us also understand how its complementary technologies, जैसे DLSS, कैसे काम करते हैं और कैसे हमारे gaming experience को वो enhance करते हैं. Nvidia DLSS. मतलब डीप लर्निंग सुपर सैम्पलिंग इज अ ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस रेंडरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इंक्रीजेस योर ग्राफिक्स परफॉर्मेंस यूजिंग डेडिकेटेड टेंसर कोर एआई प्रोसेसर्स टेंसर कोर्स आर डेडिकेटेड कोर्स दैट वायर इंट्रोड्यूस अलोंग विद रियल टाइम रे ट्रेसिंग कोर्स इन एनवीडिया आर टी एक्स जी पी यूज डी एल एस एस टैप्स इन टू द पावर ऑफ डीप लर्निंग न्यूरल नेटवर्क टू बूस्ट फ्रेम रेट्स एंड जनरेट ब्यूटिफुल sharp images for your games and your experience dlss uses advanced artificial intelligence rendering to produce image quality jise aap compare kar sakte ho ek real life dslr camera ke image ke sath ya real imagery ke sath mein sometimes it is equal to that real life image or sometimes even better than that while only conventionally rendering a fraction of the pixels ya to aap bol sakte ho lower resolution अगर आपका स्क्रीन टेन है तो पीछे बैकग्राउंड में जो है वो उसके कम रिजोल्यूशन पे रेंडर हो रहा है इमेज आर टी एक्स अलॉन्ग विथ डी एल एस एस हेल्प गेम एंड गेमर्स विथ मैक्सिम एफ पी एस सबसे ज्यादा एफ पी एस एट मैक्सिम क्वालिटी पावर्ड बाय आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस लेट सी अनदर वीडियो एक्सप्लेनिंग हाउ डी एल एस एस वर्क इन डीप At Nvidia, we've been working on graphics and artificial intelligence for a long time, and now we have the opportunity to redefine real-time graphics by applying artificial intelligence to make games more beautiful and more fun. DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, and it's an artificial intelligence rendering technology that makes your games render almost twice as fast while preserving the detail you need to play at high resolutions. 
We're able to do this because RTX GPUs have tensor cores, which are specialized AI processors that allow us to execute AI models really fast. In the past, it would have been crazy to think about running an artificial intelligence model for every frame of a high resolution video, but we can do that now. The old DLSS journey started in 2016 when an NVIDIA researcher showed us some incredible results obtained by using a convolutional neural network to fix damaged photographs. We immediately saw an opportunity to make games run faster by first reducing the rendering resolution and then use AI to fill the missing information and generate high quality images at much higher performance. What makes DLSS truly special is being the first AI algorithm that can do that while also generating temporally stable images, meaning without popping artifacts. For each game, we would capture very high quality image sequences that would be otherwise too costly to render in real time. Then the DLSS network would be trained to reproduce these super high quality examples from the kind of lower quality frames a game can render very rapidly. But we wanted to do more. We wanted to make it faster, we wanted to generate sharper images, and we wanted to make it easy to train and deploy. DLSS research has definitely continued nonstop. And in the last year, we basically improved every aspect of DLSS, ultimately reinventing a new architecture that is simply much better at doing super resolution for game rendering. With this new architecture, we have dramatically improved image quality. The images are now looking more detailed, more temporally stable, and also have less artifact or aliasing. And there are places where it looks even better than native resolution rendering. We've also drastically increased the maximum upscaling ratio. We can now render an image at 1080p, and DLSS will generate a beautiful looking 4K image for you. In addition, we've made the neural network run twice as fast by utilizing the tensor cores more efficiently. And as a result, you can now use DLSS across all the RTX GPUs and all the resolutions. Since the new DLSS support up to 4x pixel scaling, we now provide three different quality modes, performance, balance, and quality. Finally, the new improved DLSS is a fully general solution, so we don't have to train DLSS on a per game basis anymore. And this makes integrating DLSS into games easier than before. Let's now look at some of the examples of the new DLSS in action. In Delivers the Moon, if we zoom in on the gloves here, you'll notice that when DLSS is enabled, we're getting more detailed images and we're getting higher frame rate. If we look at Wolfenstein Youngblood, you'll notice again that we're getting a really comparable image quality to native rendering and we're providing a tremendous boost in frame rate. If you zoom in on this particular spot, you'll notice that with DLSS enabled, we're actually getting better definition on the barrel than native rendering, even though we're rendering fewer pixels. In Mac Warrior 5, you'll see the same positive results, really similar image quality to native rendering with huge boosts in performance. We're also adding the latest version of DLSS in Control, which will further improve the image quality in this already great looking game. Now let's hear it from our gaming influencers, our gaming system integrators and our partner Western Digital.